With those new developments in the impeachment showdown, Democrats are now releasing the full transcripts of key witnesses' testimonies, including the former ambassador to Ukraine. Mary Bruce has the very latest starts us off. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, we are now in a new, more open phase of this impeachment investigation. After weeks of questioning behind closed doors here on the Hill, we are now seeing the first witness transcripts out in the open, and they are painting a turbulent picture of shadow diplomacy. In newly released transcripts, former Ukrainian Ambassador Marie Ivanovich told lawmakers she was the target of a smear campaign run by the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. President Trump Monday tried to distance himself from Yovanovitch. I'm sure she's a very fine woman. I just don't know much about her. But on the call with the Ukrainian president that sparked this impeachment inquiry, Trump called Yovanovitch bad news and said she was going to go through some things. I was shocked, Yovanovitch told investigators. Asked if she felt threatened, she replied yes. Yovanovitch told lawmakers at the time she turned to Trump's point person in Ukraine, U.S. Ambassador to the EU, Gordon Sondland, for help. His advice, you need to go big or go home. Tweet out there that you support the president. You know, the sorts of things that he likes. You know, praise him or support him. But Yovanovitch refused and was later removed from her post. And so what does this irregular back channel sanctioned by the president do? It seeks to remove someone fighting corruption in Ukraine. Michael McKinley, a top aide to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, told lawmakers he tried to convince Pompeo to defend Yovanovitch. But just last month, Pompeo told George those conversations never happened. I never heard him say a single thing about his concerns with respect to the decision. So you that was were never made. asked to not, put out not, a... not once, not once, George, did Ambassador McKinley say something to me during that entire time period. You were never asked to put out a statement in support of Ambassador Yovanovitch? George, again, I, I'm not going to talk about private conversations that I had with my most trusted advisors. But McKinley's testimony contradicts the secretary, saying he raised concerns with Pompeo three times. McKinley resigned in protest. Now, today, the releases will continue. Later, we will see two more witness transcripts, including Ambassador Sondland and the former special envoy to Ukraine, Kurt Volker. And of course, George, we are still expecting open hearings to begin sometime soon. And Mary, that Rudy Giuliani associate, Lev Parnas, who was actually indicted last month, now signaling he's going to comply with, with congressional subpoenas. Yet, yeah, George, Lev Parnas initially refused to speak with investigators, but now his new lawyer tells us he is willing to comply with the subpoena. It comes after President Trump insisted that he did not know Lev Parnas. That apparently did not go over well. His lawyer telling The New York Times, quote, Mr. Parnas was very upset by President Trump, plainly false statement that he did not know him. And now, George, Lev Parnas is ready to testify. And we'll see how that plays out. Okay, Mary, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.